Hey, and welcome back to Vita vs. 3DS. In this episode, we are going to do a quick review of Table Ice Hockey, which is the newest augmented reality game for PlayStation Vita, which came out uh, last week. So, um, it is most comparable to, uh, although it does cost $1.99, just like Tabletop Tanks, it's most comparable to uh, Table Soccer, which uh, is another game, augmented reality game for PlayStation Vita, which I did review, and I did review very highly in uh, my augmented reality comparison video. I enjoyed it a lot, but um, there were some issues with it which a lot of people brought up, and those complaints were valid indeed. Uh, they said that it is a mix of of uh, a chess game mixed with uh, you know with with soccer, and it was all touch based. So soccer not being very popular, and chess not being very actiony, and you know, and and as well as touch not being the method of choice for a lot of gamers, I found it it didn't really get accepted as well as uh, as highly as I reviewed it. So a lot of people didn't like it as much. Um, but anyway, so we'll see how this one fares. So first, we don't need uh, the the three, four, sorry, the four, five, and six cards. So I'm going to throw these aside. And we'll just get booted up here. So basically, um, this game has uh, three modes, three basic modes. It has the play now, which is just a quick game. Uh, the tournament mode, which you just go through a tournament against the AI and, uh, you know, ladder, ladder matches and get to the top. And, uh, and an ad hoc mode. So unfortunately, it doesn't have online play which uh, would have been great, but uh, that's alright considering the game is $1.99. Anyway, so what we're going to do here, um, as well as you can customize your teams and, and whatever, um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go to a play now session, solo. So something that is in this game that wasn't in Table Soccer are, um, although Table Soccer did have various teams, they're all the same. You're just picking your jerseys basically. In these, in this game, uh, every team has different stats. So you, as you could see, like, you know, Great Britain is garbage at hockey, like they should be. And Canada is amazing, like they should be. So, uh, of course, I'm going to pick Canada. And uh, let's go against the United States. Alright, so you can pick, at the beginning, you could pick, uh, you know, what color jerseys you're going to wear as well as the rink you play in. I've only unlocked two of them, so we're going to play in my second one, as well as the puck. You can choose which puck you start off with. So, uh, yeah, we're ready to go. All right, so now it wants us to set up the rink, so we need one, two, and three spread out here, just like that. Let's get the camera focused on a little bit. All right. So just like in table soccer, you can move, uh, you can get up close to the action. So uh, you control the players with the analog stick instead of by flicking them, and the action is real time. It's not, uh, it's not um, uh, turn-based sort of like table soccer, which turned off a lot of people, unfortunately. So it's just basic, you know, X passes, uh, square hits, and uh, O shoots. So this is very basic gameplay, you know, you move around, you try to score, and, you know, just like hockey. There are fights, which maybe I might get into one in this video, but uh, they're very basic. And, um, but strangely, I did like those fights more than uh, NHL 13's uh, first person fights. But, uh, but yeah. On, uh, okay, and there's penalties too, as this, this guy here just took a penalty, he's going to the box. Face-offs are done by hitting a button, uh, the correct button before your opponent does. Of course, I'm, played, I'm playing a little zoomed here, but just like all the other AR games, you can get it from any angle. You can really get in there, change the angle just by moving around, which is really cool. Um, so, of course, it looks like you can't really see the whole rink the way I'm playing now, but that's because I'm a little cramped over here. Uh, if I pull back a little, I'll be able to see the full rink. I can play from on top, I can play from behind the net, just like any other AR game on, uh, on Vita. Um, you have big players, medium players, and small players. Your defense tend to be the big players. They hit hard. Uh, they are more successful at, uh, at hitting. The medium players are kind of balanced, and um, they're a little quicker than the big players, obviously. And um, the small players, they can't hit for shit, and they can't fight for shit, but 
they, uh, they're really fast and they score all the goals pretty much. So, um, so yeah, um, end of period. Okay, so what, I guess for this game, um, one of the things that, you know, kind of personifies Vita AR games is that, as you can see here, since it uses the buttons and since it doesn't use 3D space well, aside from changing the camera angle, it basically has the same issues that all of the other um, Vita AR games has, which I feel like the 3DS games don't have, and the issue is that it doesn't use 3D space. There's, like, it wouldn't be, if it wasn't an AR game, it wouldn't have made a difference. It still would have been just as good or just as bad. Um, and I feel that that's a problem because the point of AR is to really have gaming experiences that you couldn't get otherwise. And this is the gaming experience you could definitely get without the AR. It could just be like an arcade sort of quick um, hockey game. But uh, that said, I do feel that this is a very solid game. I feel that, uh, you know, just like Tabletop, tank, tabletop Tanks and just like uh, Table Soccer, I feel that they're actually good games first, which is, again, the most important thing. So, uh, anyway, this is extremely hard to play. So I'm going to go finish my game. And, uh, you know, overall, I would say that this is a title that I would recommend. Uh, it's $1.99. You're not losing much, even if you don't like it. And there are trophies. So, uh, you know, you're not, uh, you're not losing much here. And uh, on my first game, I got three trophies anyway. So, anyway, uh, so, yeah, head out there. Oh, here's a fight. Hang on, I'll stay for the fight. Let's see what we do. You can punch out high, low, you can block, which causes stagger if you successfully block like that and pound the guy. If you win a fight, oh no, I might lose this one. Oh, I got him. See, if you win a fight, you both go to the box, but your team gets a speed boost if you win, which is kind of cool. Anyway, it has a little bit of depth. It's cheap, you know. Um, yeah, so just, you know, if you want, spend two bucks, go buy it. Has some trophies, some entertainment for a little while. Go for it, why not? Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.